So welcome, thank you, I love you, and if you have fear from heaven, great, so bow and surrender and give up and say, oh, it is yours, 100%, great, no problem. But just be who that you really are. And if you really want to commit yourself to Hashem, and if you really want to throw yourself on Hashem, and if you really truly believe that He is Father of mercy, so you must ask some questions. What in the world is going on with this world? Where is Hashem if Hashem is so kind? What's going on in this world if Hashem is so good, if Hashem is so mercy, if Hashem is so great, where is He? Why is He hiding Himself from the sick? Why is He hiding Himself from the poor? Why is He hiding Himself from, from, the, from, from the nations? Why is He hiding Himself from me? Why for my wife? Why for my children? Why do we not deserve to receive all the bounty? What's going on with us, with Him? What's going on? What's the answer? If you will want the answer, you will be answered. If you will ask those questions, you will be answered. The proof for that is that you came today to this class and Hashem opened your eyes a little bit more. And then tomorrow you're going to go with those bigger vessels to learn something else. And you're going to continue. And you're going to go further and further, closer and closer to Hashem for the rest of your life. And that's the reward of the world to come. That in the world to come, it's just going to continue. And like Rabbi Nachman of Breslav is saying, When a person, he knows that whatever he goes through in life is for the good, it's all planned by Hashem. So that aspect, it's like to, like to live in the world to come. What does it mean? That in the world to come, you're just going to grow and grow and grow and develop and, and, and expand and enjoy more and going to contain more and going to receive more, going to know more, going to feel more and more and more and more. That's the world to come. That's the nature of life in heaven. That you're just going to have more and more and more. And if you know that everything that you go through in life is for the good, so anyway you're receiving more, because it's all for the good. Even the difficulties, even the sorrow, even the pain, even the destructions, even the horrible humiliations that we're going through, if your desire is to learn and to come closer to Hashem, so you can come closer to Hashem from every place in the world, what you need to do, say, Hashem, that's it. Finish the story. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all He, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.